Hello everyone and welcome to the premiere episode of my brand new playthrough in the Stardew Valley Expanded Universe. Okay, let's get this new farm started. So, first we're going to make some changes to the configuration settings. I am going to do the remixed bundles and we're going to try to get that completed within the first year. No changes to the mine rewards and we definitely don't want any monsters on the farm. And it's just going to be me, myself, and I. So, that's good. And we're going to be doing Grandpa's Farm. My name is Melanie B. And the farm name is going to be... Menorah Bay Farm. My favorite thing... And let's go ahead and be female. So I am going to pick a little doggo. There we go, this one's cute. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the intro because I've seen it a million times. Okay. So now for this playthrough, I aim to have it go for two years. And um, for the first year, I'm thinking I would like to get the community center completed. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge just because it's a remixed bundle. So I'm not going to be entirely sure what's going to be in the bundle. So it's going to be a little bit trickier than normal because I won't know. Um, also, for I'm expected to go for two years. So up until grandpa's evaluation and um, with that I'm still hoping to get to 100% completion. Now if it's at the end of year two and I'm not really close to completing it 100% I'm just gonna end it there but if I'm like really close um, yeah I'm just gonna keep going until I get to 100% completion. So like I said, um, this is in the Stardew Valley Expanded, and it's one of the many mods I have running right now. Um, I've got quite a few utility mods that's standard for modding, basically. And the largest mod I have has definitely got to be the Stardew Valley Expanded. There's also quite a few aesthetic mods. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my 15 parsnip seeds. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. I'm going to head on out. Now, right away, you can see there's a there's a few changes. Um, the the beautiful tree. Look at that. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna start clearing some spots for my seats. Now, when you're using the scythe, it doesn't take any energy. And by cutting down these uh, these weeds, you have a chance of finding mixed seeds. And yeah, basically it's just free crops, so I'm definitely going to hope to get some free mixed seeds. Ah, oh, there we go, there's our first mixed seed. Okay, I'm just going to clear the wood and stone. And you can see this, even the stone and the wood, there's like a slight change to it. Okay, that's enough room there. I'm just going to get the hoe out and start planting. Oh boy. Hoeing is difficult. Okay, I'm going to grab out my watering can and water these seeds. And once we're finished that, we're going to just head out of the farm and head into the town. 
see if we can meet some of the town folk. But first, before we do that, I just want to build a chest. And we're going to need 50 pieces of wood to do that. So I'm just going to cut down a few of the trees. The trees are so beautiful though, you almost don't want to cut them down. more should do it. Mm, I'm not going to cut any of the pink or white ones. They're too pretty. <laughs> there we go. Let's cut the pine tree. Okay, I got 59 pieces of wood. Let's go into the crafting menu and build a chest. And now with this chest, we can take stuff out of our inventory and just keep them in storage for now. So all I want to take with me whilst I'm running around town is the scythe. That doesn't take any energy. And the hoe. So if we find any artifact spots, we can just hold it up. And off we go. Up, oh, see, right away we find an artifact spot. And we got some free clay. Not too bad. Oh, and some forage. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Holy cow. This is feeling lucky already. So we're going to head up here into this new area, and this is from the boarding house mod that I have added. Now with this mod, it adds three new NPCs, and here's one of them right now, Joel. So you're my old friend's granddaughter. Welcome to Grandpa Joel's boarding house. If you ever need a place to stay, let me know. Joel, I now own a farm. I'm not going to be needing a place to stay. Thanks for the offer anyway. And let's head on over here. This is where Joel's daughter resides. There she is. So you're the new farmer. Oh, hi, I'm Sheila. I run this buffalo ranch. I have a lot of useful stuff for your farm. Come by whenever you want. I will be sure to do that, Sheila. Um, I think Sheila is kind of meant to be some competition for Marnie. Not in the love for Lewis, but rather as a person who sells the chickens, the cows, the goats, and she also sells buffaloes. And right in here, there's like a little cavern system. Now this um, allows us to go down, and it's kind of like the mine system, but it lets us go down into a new area, and there's a new NPC down there. Um, it's a few levels that you have to go down, but uh, once you get to the bottom, you can use this mine cart system. We're not going to actually go down right now because there is some monsters down there, and as you gradually, as you go down, it just it gets tougher. Just going to take the volume down as coach here. There we go. And let's go over to the rest of town. We'll see how many NPCs we can meet on this first day. And down here we have Dr. Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Nice to meet you, Doctor. Oh, dear Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. But that's okay. I'm Jody. Nice to meet you, Jody. I'm not really sure what you meant by that, but okay. Oh, a stranger! My name's Vincent. 
Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Nice to meet you, Vincent. There's one more residence here, but it looks like he's not at home right now. Let's pop in here really quick. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Nice to meet you, Emily. And Emily's sister doesn't seem to be at home right now. I guess we'll meet her soon enough. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay, Granny Evelyn, nice to meet you. And the gossiping ladies. Hello, you must be Melanie V, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Nice to meet you, Olivia. Let's just pop into the Pierre store here. Whilst we're here, we're gonna pick up some seeds. Hello, it's nice to meet you. That's Leia. Let's say hello to Pierre first before we buy anything. Hey, it's Mel Melanie B, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're ever looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy potters from you for a good price. Thanks, Pierre. Okay, so we already planted some parsnips. We're gonna, I'm not gonna get any beans started right now. Best bang for our money right now, I think it'd be some potato seeds, just cause we can harvest it within six days. So we're gonna get 10 of those. And we're gonna get those plants today. But we'll do some more exploring. Oh, here's Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You gotta love that smile that Maru has. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off! <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, George. There's Alex. Um, we can't access his room right now, but we'll have to meet him once he comes out. Now, with all the NPCs, you have to have two hearts for you to be able to access your, your special area. So if you go into the social tab, you can see what level you are with each person. Right now, it looks like I have no friends. <laughs> um, but Joel is the closest to being my friend right now because he's the top of my list. Let's say hello to Doggo. You give Dusty many pets. Dusty. Down here is the mayor's house. We'll see if he's at home. Uh, no mayor. And there is Elliot. We'll say hello. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Elliot. Head on over here. Across the bridge and up to the museum slash library. Hello there. Welcome to the Sardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing. But the curious curator made up the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to review that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? I certainly will, Gunther. Let's go down to the blacksmith. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town's blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, Clint, I'll keep that in mind. We can also purchase stuff from Clint, like uh, copper, iron, coal, and gold. We obviously can't afford any of that right now. And we'll head over this way. Now, this is an extra little external site where you can do gardening and planting crops. 
Um, we don't have access to that just yet, but what we do, we, we can plant some stuff there. And some more foraging, the wild horseradish, perfect, we have a complete set. Let's see if there's more foraging up here. Let's take a quick peek across the bridge. Oh, more horseradish. Very nice. I'm feeling lucky today. Oh, yeah. Anything up there? No. And we have a little town over here. And this is uh, East Scarp. Now, this... This little mod adds a few new NPCs, and it has a mini little dungeon-like area, and there's like quite a few little areas to explore in here. Um, yeah, we're not going to do too much of the exploring around here just yet, but this is one of the little extra areas we get to like interact with some new new NPCs. We'll have to check that out. And let's see how many people we have left to meet. So we have our introduction list. We need to meet 36 new NPCs in total, and we've already gotten to 17, so we're just over a little over half there. And right here, we can fish for some new interesting fish. So there's a whole lot more fish to find now. And I quite enjoy fishing. Even though I'm not, like, really good at it, I like doing it. I think it's fun. And let's go into the Jojo Mart. New NPC here. Hi, I haven't seen you before. Sorry, I don't really know you all that well. Well, it's nice to meet you, Claire. New one's in here. Let's say hello to Morris. Ah, it's Farmer Melanie V. Welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager of the Jojo Mart. If you need cheap quality seeds, there's no better place than Jojo Mart. Sure, Morris. Sure. We'll get right on that. Maybe not. And we'll head back across the bridge. Now here is one of the new housing areas from the Study Valley Expanded. This, obviously, is where the rich folks live. There's Olivia. She's in a room now, so we can't say hello, but we'll have to meet her later. And her son, Victor. Hi, Victor. Oh, hey there. You're the new owner of Menorah Bay Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Melanie B., is it? Nice to meet you, Victor. Now, up this way, we have the community center. We'll quickly just poke around here so we can find any daffodils. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. We're going to have to go up north and visit the carpenter shop and get to meet my favorite wild man, Linus. But it's getting pretty late, so we'll have to make that our task for tomorrow. We've met, oops, we've got 18 other people met, so we're halfway there now. Oh boy, looks like our path here is kind of blocked. Let's see if we can find some more mixed seeds. And get these planted today. Look at this little doghouse, isn't that great? I love that. Or it can be a cat house, I suppose, if you pick the cat option. Let's call it a doghouse, because that's what it is. So, we've got two more mixed seeds, not too bad. If we can find a couple more, maybe. Now this farm is quite large, and there's a lot of little secret areas here, so eventually we'll get to those. But for now, it looks like we should just get to work on planting these last bit of crop. Hmm. 
remove it. Okay, let's break this down really quick. Okay, and get these watered. Kind of hard to see at nighttime. And eventually we're going to get some lighting placed. So it won't be as bad, but for tonight, <laughs> I can barely tell if it's watered or not. I'm just going to have to assume it's all been watered. There you go, I'm just going to store this stuff for now and head to bed. Look at that, in bed before midnight. Good job, us. Okay. Now for day two, let's go ahead and check the TV. Check the weather report. Welcome to Gozo 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. No surprise there. Okay, had to take a little tiny break there. See what's going on. To the beach. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. Hmm, you'll definitely have to go check that out. But first, we're going to water our crops. Refill our watering can here. Got quite a few crops here. And I have enough to make some spring seeds now, so I'm going to do that before I head on over to the beach. So, spring seeds. I don't have the spring seeds. I just swore it said I had the recipe for spring seeds. What happened? I don't see my spring seeds. Okay. So I guess I'm not making spring seeds. Let's check these for now. Put our watering can away and we're just gonna head south here and head down to the beach. Clear some more of the path as we go. <laughs> we have a lot of frogs on the farm it seems. I'm just going to quickly run down this way. Now, it says on our, it's uh, Morris's birthday today. Um, I'm not interested in befriending Morris. I'm not doing anything Georgia related. I'm going to be completing the community center, so I'm not going to waste my time on Morris. I might say hello every now and again, but for the most part, I'm just gonna ignore Morris. There we go. It looks like we leveled up the forging. I thought I did that last night. It looks like I have to wait till the end of today to get my forging work. 
which is to make seeds and the ability to craft the something, craft something else. And there we go, here's the Willy cutscene. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out at the salty sea. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to go have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe someday you'll buy something from the shop. I got a new fishing rod. I received the bamboo pole. And we are going to start making use of that right away. There's a good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh well, yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need any supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say, anyway. If it smells, it sells. That's a good motto. I don't know what it's a good motto for, but it's good. Okay, let's grab out the fishing rod right now. And in the top left, you can see there's like a little menu that's showing all the fish. And that is showing all the fish that's currently available to be catched in these waters. Um, they're all kind of darkened out right now because I haven't caught any. But once I have caught that fish, it will light up to indicate that I've already caught that fish. We give our first fish a try. Looks like a sardine. There we go. So now you can see it's all lit up. Do a bit more fishing here. Not a sardine. Hey, be still, sardine. There's no need to move around so much. Now, fishing the if you were to have bait on your fishing rod, then you would get uh, more frequencies in the bite rate on your rod. But because we just have the old bamboo rod, we're not as fortunate. So it takes a little bit of time sometimes. Ah, another sardine. Oh, a treasure chest. I love that. Ooh, don't want to lose a fish though. Oh, my goodness. I, wow, I, I, I have no words. I just lost that fish. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow, I am shocked. I lost the fish. The easy fish. The sardine. I lost the sardine. And it's all because of my greed. I needed the treasure chest. Oh, fishy stay put there we go I would like to cut something that's not a sardine now oh I don't want seaweed either by the way no sardine no seaweed or trash something else this is gonna be my last one though if I don't catch something good I'm leaving come on fishy 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 Oh my goodness, seriously, it's another sardine. <laughs> you 
Here we go. When we are done, this is it. I'm gonna grab some of this forage on the beach, though, and get that little artifact wormy spot there, and more clay. Hello, Elliot. A great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it, but if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Got it. More clay. Very nice. So let's see how many people we have left to meet. So we are at 19 now. Let's get these last 17 people. I don't think we're going to get through all of them today, but let's head up north. So let's just check this notice board here. So it shows the birthdays of the residents. We also can see that under the little uh, money counter. Also gives the help wanted quest board. Looking for a right parsnip. Could a local farmer deliver one to me? Parsnip? I think I can. I, I should have my parsnip ready pretty soon. We'll see. Just gonna go over here. Oh, there's Haley. Hi, Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Ah, uh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Nice to meet you, Haley. Okay, some of the villagers here are not that friendly. Here's a. Oh! My inventory 12. No. That's okay. We'll, we'll head back to the farm right away after we do some more introductions. Greetings. Zom Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. No, can't meet anyone. Oh, dear Sebastian, you were lucky. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Sebastian, I got deed to a farm for free. Yeah, it was hardly a choice. It was like, how could I not? Oh my goodness, look at all this foraging over here. And I have no space. I am going to have to come back. But I am going to say hello to Linus first. Hi, Linus. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Okay, Linus, you carry on with that. So I'm going to try going this way and hope the path is not blocked. Because I don't actually have my pickaxe or axe to break anything. If it is blocked. Yeah, it is unfortunate. So we'll have to go all the way back around. That's fine. I like looking at these trees anyways. They're so beautiful, so I don't mind going here twice. So maybe we can quickly stop by the Georgia Mart and say hello. Might as well say hello to Morris as well. Have you met my mother? She's a town's carpenter. I have met her. What? What do you want? Go away. Okay, cool. Hey there, you are that new owner of the Menorah Bay Farm. My manager held a meeting about you. I work part-time at Georgia Mart. Nice to meet you, Martin. I don't know why Morris is having meetings about my farm, but... If you need cheap seeds, there's no better place than Georgia Mart. Yeah, 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 I know.
Okay, so now let's go back to the farm. And we can just put some of this stuff away for now. And maybe we'll just do some more clearing of the farm and see if we can't find any more mixed seeds and we can just get that all planted. We're definitely gonna, gonna uh, clear the path that leads to the backwoods so we don't run into that issue again. There's more mixed seeds. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Way, away, away, away. You away, you away. And we will get out this one, and this one. I guess I put the mix seeds away. I'll have to grab that back out to plant them. But for now, we're just going to do some clearing of the farm, just in this immediate area. But I'm actually going to head over to the exit and make sure to clear a path. I really like the layout of this farm. There's just so much going on. And there's so much to discover and explore. Like, I love it. Oh, we got a geode. We found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. A whole bunch of goodies. go our pads cleared okay let's get out the scythe clear some more bead beads the grass is so pretty Okay, so we're not finding too much right now. Ah, there's Grandpa's Shrine over there. We'll eventually get to that. Okay, we have a lot of energy left. Let's go ahead and break some more rocks here. energy we got left. Oh, we've got tons of energy. Holy cow. Might as well use it. It's getting pretty hard to see what I'm actually doing right now. Just kind of guessing. <laughs> you can see the rocks, but I can't really see the the wood. I'm gonna have to get around to building some lighting as soon as possible. If I want to work at night. Okay, now our energy is getting low. So we're gonna get it right down there and head to bed. Okay, let's call it a night. If I can make it to the house, there we go, there's a path. I'm going to store most of this stuff. Got three geodes, wow. 
And I'm just going to grab out my watering can for tomorrow and call it a night. And that's it for me for this recording. Oh, there's my level one foraging. I don't know why I thought I got that already, but here it is now. So definitely going to be planting some of these seeds tomorrow. But we will also be exploring some of the other areas. And I think there was like maybe 16, 15 or 16 people left to meet. So we're definitely going to get on that. And yeah, so thank you for watching.